Well, hi all, I'm Tony, this is SV Tapatia and as you may well know we are building a cruising sailboat. This week has been mainly about uh, painting, in particular the epoxy primer sealer undercoat and as things stand, state of play, the rudder is now completely coated with six coats of, of that primer sealer. Uh, the underside of the boat has four on, two to go should get them on this weekend and get the top coat. The wooden box affair that's going on the aft end is completely coated. I've actually just put the first coat of top coat on the underside of that. So been a lot, a lot of painting and, and uh, clearly I'm not going to show you vast quantities of me running around with a roller in my hand. But uh, let's have a look at what has happened. Let's see what this looks like.
smaller ones because they're the harder ones. Here's them. So I'm holding this up to the camera and I'm making this part up. I bought the bronze section and it comes with a stainless pin uh, and I'm making up the, the stainless bit at the bottom as a, as a catch for the lazarette hatch. And this very expensive part came with these two fittings, no base piece, but these two side pieces uh, that clearly aren't stainless. So I've decided to make the whole thing up in stainless. And you remember a couple of weeks ago when I had a bit of an issue by where I took a wrong bit of steel and somebody commented that, uh, you know, would a magnet have been helpful? And no doubt it would have done. Here is a magnet on, on my stainless fitting and you'll see it doesn't stick to stainless through all the marine, the marine, you know, 304 and 316. Whereas this, it's uh, clearly a bit of steel there. Whatever that is, mild steel or whatever, sticks to that very nicely. So a magnet is a very good way of checking whether you've got marine grade stainless. And uh, yeah, yeah. Hindsight's a wonderful thing. Anyhow, that's well in progress. I need to make the sort of fork part that that, that screws down onto. Um, but it's nearly there. Sanded that just so that, and I think the stuff glues in the pots. I think so. <laughs> just shove that in there. Like, that. like how you've got your gloves on. Yeah, well, it's what happens when you're doing it in a hurry, isn't it? <laughs>
as you probably know I'm, I'm based in Germany and uh, all of the paints, varnishes, epoxies that I use come from this company, Beenka, German epoxy paint supplier. They do not sponsor me in any way shape or form but I'm very very happy with their products so uh, if you happen to be in Germany which won't be many of you very very good bought service Beenka. I'll hold it up one more time I recommend them and I say no sponsorship in any way shape or form good stuff and while we're on that subject, it's just a, yeah, a couple of words about something because every now and again and more and more often these days I get emails from, from companies asking me to uh, review a product, uh, show it in a video and frankly I'm not interested. It's not my thing. You know, regular viewers will remember that I did, uh, did do a review of, of a belt sander that the company sent me. Uh, it's a couple of years ago now. I've still got it. I still use it. It's okay. Um, but it's really not my thing, you know, advertising stuff for, for other companies. So, yeah, frankly, if you are a company, don't bother. <laughs> you know? um, and you know, the, the idea of a YouTube influencer amuses me, influencing people. If I can influence anybody in any direction, I would very much like to influence you to, to spend less money buy only the very very necessary so I really am not the person to be advertising stuff unnecessary stuff to you guys it's not gonna happen so that's the stern light I want to mount it on there but straight so I'm gonna cut a wedge out of that piece of dug fur there Get it on there so that we can mount that stern line. Oh, we oh, just about. Look at, look at that. Oh, that's good. Yeah, something like that. Fifteen will be better. It's not quite as fragile as I
approximately. All oh, right. Well, I can imagine some of you are a little puzzled as to what that hole is about. And, and the answer is that um, I bought the plans from Alan of Wave Rover to build a, a trim tab wind vane. He was and probably still is selling the plans for them. And it's, it's interesting. And uh, this is part of that. Now, if Alan's watching, he'll tell you that I've, I've not done this bit in keeping with the plans. So he does have a bit of pipe there, but he fixes it differently. And I've, I've decided to put it in this way that I think will also function. <laughs> Yeah, but anyhow, that serves as as the lines from the from the vein itself go down through there, off to the the tiller, off to the rudder. I mean, sorry, the trim tab, and a platform sits on here, and this serves as the sort of central bearing location for that circular disc platform that allows you to turn the vein into the wind to give you the direction. So that's what that bit's all about. I'm sure you're all wondering. There we go, that's it for this week. Um, I should be pushing on. The goals for this week are to, to get the top coat on the, on the top half of the rubber, the blue, the whole blue. Um, get that top coated, get the stainless fittings on, get the tiller fitted permanently. Obviously to get the last two coats of epoxy primer sealer on under the waterline. Maybe get some of the VC tar onto the ballast kill. Um, along the way, obviously finish top coat in the box, get it fitted on the aft end here, the nav light wired up. I'm thinking about the wiring for the tiller pilot and the mounting for that. We'll see if we make progress there. So, plenty to do still. Good progress though. I'm pleased with pleased with how we're getting on. Um, certainly looking at trucking in the second half of May, trucking up to the marina. Launch, I hope, mid June. I certainly hope so. Thank you for watching. Um, a massive thank you as ever to the lovely people who support us on Patreon and via PayPal. If you'd like to support the project, Patreon's a good way to do it. From as little as one dollar a month. Um, and there are behind the scenes videos there and some bits and pieces. Uh, pictures and whatever. Um, and there we go. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.